Okay, Whew. I had to take my inhaler. Couldn't figure out for the life of me why my asthma was bothering me until I had an epiphany on the toilet going pee. I'm like, why the hell? Why is my asthma bothering me? I couldn't figure it out until I'm like, oh my God, I haven't been taking my reactant from the doctor. I haven't been taking my citrulline, that's like for my asthma, like my allergies. <sighs> like stupid, stupid. Why didn't I, why didn't I think of, <laughs> it's been a week. But anyways, I gotta show you the cutest little thing that I got. There's a new Japanese store or is it a Korean? Let me see, hold on. Um, it's either Japanese or Korean. I know I have to look over my glasses because I can't see small print. Oh my God. They say once you hit 40, that's it. It's like, ooh, downhill, not up, down. Okay. Oh, and like my new bracelet, my sister got me this one and this one. I think I showed you guys this one, but this one, oh my God. I, lo I love this one and this one. This is my chakra. Okay. Anyways, I got this thing. It's called Mumuso or Mumuso. I could be wrong if it's Japanese, Korean. I don't know. I just know I love the store. I found this cutest little fan, okay? Because, look, and then it has the button on the back. And you push the button. One, two, three. And it turns off. Three levels. So, and it says, <laughs> it says, I want you. I want you which is this cutest little thing i don't know this little dinosaur uh, freaking cute i saw and i'm like it shows you a picture of a was it a blue dinosaur or something anyways i don't know you don't know the color i just picked it i'm like oh well, it's gonna be cute regardless and then when i pulled out this one because i thought it was gonna be blue i'm like oh my god this is so cute and then of course i have pens in my room because I need pens. And I got this for like 99 cents or like a dollar or something like that. Or no, less than that. Like a couple of cents. Um, So I was like, I have to get this pen. Because I love cacti. And because they're beautiful plants. And um, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get it. So anyways. Um, yeah, I haven't been I haven't been feeling well. I started a new medication for my um, my multiple sclerosis because um, dealing with MS is pretty tough. Believe it or not, it's not easy. You know, people are like, "Oh, you you look good. You feel you look so happy." Well, yeah. I mean, if I mean, I have to be. I mean, I, I can't be miserable. Like, I mean, when I'm in pain, I'm in pain. Like this starting Sunday, I was, I, oh my God, I almost fell because I lost my balance in the shower. Hurt my back. And then on top of that, I start getting MS hugs and I'm like, oh my God. An MS hug, I've explained to you before, it's like somebody squeezing and twisting and it affects the chest, like my chest hurts like under my boobs like right here like it hurts not my left side because that's my heart it's more on my right side and i feel nauseous the nausea is because of the new medication that i'm on and um so i'll explain that in a second like this is all about multiple sclerosis and diamond painting i started a new diamond painting and it's a coffee one um i don't think i took a picture of it but um I will later. Um, what was I going to say? Um, okay. Oh, my God. See, I lose train of thought. Like, this is awful. Oh, yeah. So, I almost fell. My sister's like, we have to get a support bar in the shower because because of my balance issues. We don't, That's the last thing we want is me falling and, you know, cracking my head open on the toilet or something, you know. Like, you definitely don't want that to happen. So, um, I gotta stir this. So, yeah. So, I'm like, yeah, we definitely have to get something. 
Okay, so then I get the MS Ugg, which is like beautiful, just lovely, darling. Like, a, what perfect timing to get an MS Ugg. So, because I was supposed to go over my aunt's house, she's, we grew up together, her kids and my, well, my sister, like, we all grew up together. I'm like older than the kids and stuff, but. Um, like seven to ten years older but um, what happened is I was supposed to go there and then but I was in the shower when they all left and that's when my sister texted me and that's when everything happened and I said I was in the shower but no I'm not coming for pizza because you know I almost fell and I you know I hurt my back and um, I said, um, I'll um, just bring me a slice or two when you come home. Because it's home. she makes homemade pizza, like homemade dough and everything from scratch. So it's not like the store-bought stuff. Because we don't, that's not, that's not how Italians do it. Okay, that's better. So then, um, like, of course get the MS hug is what I'm having right now um excuse me so I'm on new medication it's called baclofen baclofen I think anyways it's for my muscle spasms that I have in my leg it only happens right now um lately it's been going on both sides of my leg both legs but it's more on my left side for some reason. I think that's where I have more lesions on my brain. Like all the spots are there. I think they're all on my left side, if I'm not mistaken. And I have a whole bunch going down my spine. It's like a, it's like, let's connect the dots. That's what it's like, right? So, um, uh, so I started this new medication. It makes me nauseous hurts my stomach regardless if I eat it eat and then take it which the pharmacy told me to but you would think they would put like a pamphlet they don't do that anymore the pharmacy they are like they don't put in the pamphlet to tell you what the side effects are like my my neurologist told me like you'll feel sleepy you'll feel nauseous um I'm like okay fine um you know and so it's like oh my god okay so I've been feeling super nauseous, very tired, um, nauseous, tired, my stomach hurts, like, like, like I have cramps and it's just like, what the hell? <laughs> like, oh my God, like, it's just like, holy, really? Come on. Um, so that's that. Oh my God, guys, like really, really, really? Let's go on a happy note here. I found, is it ESO? E ESO? Is it? E yeah, ESO. Toasted marshmallow. Lip balm. Amazing. I love it. I love it. I love marshmallow. I love the scent of marshmallow. I don't really eat marshmallows. Like, not really, no. But I love it. If it's a lip balm, a soap, I love it, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, um, I don't know what I was going to say to you now because I'm going into a 10 minute video and I'm sure you don't want to hear me ramble, but yeah, so I'm relapsing, which, which sucks because it hurts guys like it really really hurts and you know i hate when people are like oh oh you look great well thank you yeah i mean you know oh but you're always smiling and like the last one's like uh, someone said to me oh you're looking great you have such nice teeth well they're almost perfect no my teeth are perfectly straight i had braces for how many years they're good <laughs> like i had them taken off when i was like 17 i think or 18 or something like that anyways i know they're a little yellow i gotta do the teeth whitening thing i haven't been keeping up with it 
but you know, I'm a coffee lover, so of course, Starbucks. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Fun fact. If you're Canadian, did you know why Tim Hortons coffee sucks right now is because, well, this, this is old news. My mom didn't know. I had to explain to her. I said, I'd rather have my Starbucks over Tim Hortons. If there's no other coffee around, I'll have a, a Tim Hortons dark roast black. I will drink it. But if there's no, if there's Starbucks, I'm going more for Starbucks because McDonald's bought Tim Hortons coffee beans before Tim Hortons can buy their coffee beans. Did you know that? That's why McDonald's coffee tastes way better than Tim Hortons. I bet you didn't know that. And if you did, props to you because guess what? My mama didn't know and I had to tell her. I said, ma, the, ah. I said, Ma, this is why Tim, ah, this is why Tim Hortons coffee sucks. Yeah, I know people will say you're not true Canadian. You know what? I am Canadian. I'm Italian Canadian. Well, Canadian Italian because I was born here. But guess what? I was raised full Italian. My first language was Italian. I didn't know how to speak English, so I went to like school. And um, I think I was in ESL, English Secondary Language, until grade nine. Yeah, because I remember going, we called it the rubber room <laughs> back in grade nine. In grade nine, I still had to go there and I was learning, like, because I still, yeah, I could speak English, but like, it's like I would mix things up. And even to this day, I sometimes don't know how to say certain words in English or I don't know, sometimes I can't translate it because I'm like, I, I don't know how to say it. And you know, somebody be like, what's that? I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, sorry, I am not fully Canadian. <laughs> There's a lot of shit I haven't done that Canadians do. Like I don't ski, I don't skate, I don't swim. Uh, Cause I don't know how and yeah. I was in one snowball fight, lost the lens. Back when I was like, I think I was like eight, 16, 17 or something and never did it again because I was pissed at everybody. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling now. Okay guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope your long weekend was phenomenal. And I'm gonna drink this Starbucks take a pill and try to feel better because I feel like shit. And I'm waiting for liquor to come to the door because in my house we drink shits loads of wine. And margaritas. And I love my apple martinis, but I don't drink those anymore, but I drink wine. I drink a lot of wine. Okay, I'm gonna go and I hope you guys have a fabulous day and yeah, see ya.